Good morning boys and girls. This class will compensate those who are not attending the physical classes, both for science and arts. Dear boys and girls, I could see quite a good number of them. Handful of them are attending, in particular 11 science students are there. Little more than a dozen of them are attending. The rest of them are not attending. Hey, this video will reach you out. This video will reach you out continuously. Four or five videos we are going to upload it. Please don't worry, boys and girls. What has been done in the physical class, same thing is being repeated. Not only now, another three more videos. The normal course, I think soon, after a fortnight, we will have only the video classes. Now I am going to upload four videos. Those who are not attended, if you can attend this video classes, four of them, okay, that is much more than enough. Here I go. What will you do? In the previous classes we have done the primary gates and the secondary gates. What are the primary gates? Primary gates are this is the AND gate. This is A, this is B. The output of this when it goes through this A dot B. This is called this AND gate. Here is P, this is Q. When it goes through this gate is called as OR gate. P and Q. Here dot indicates AND, not multiplication. Plus, in the whole of this chapter, as I told you in the previous video classes, plus indicates not the addition, but it's a representation of an OR gate. O or OR gate. Right? Because they have two inputs. That's why it's called as binary gates. That's why it's called as because binary is what? Two. Here is A and B are the inputs, the output is A dot B when it goes through this logic diagram. This is P and Q. When it goes through this logic diagram, it's called as P or Q. Not plus plus indicates, as I told you, or whole of the chapter, right? Now I'm going to teach you. This is called as a unary gate. Unitary gate. It will have only one input, unlike these two. If this is Z, the output of this is Z complement. It will have only one input. Here it will be circle. That is called as what gate? Not gate. Means negation. Complement, opposite, inverse, opposite gate. This we have seen in the previous class. These three are called this prime. Based on this three class, another four more class I am going to derive them are called as secondary gates. NAND, not an AND. If I put a circle out here, it's called as NAND gate. What do you mean by NAND? Not an AND. It's called as NAND. Look at this. this. If I don't put the circle, it's called as AND gate. If I put a circle ahead, it's called as NAND gate. Not an AND is called as NAND gate. Here I go. If I put a circle and comes out here, this becomes NOR gate. Not an OR. It's called as NOR gate. It's called as NOR gate. Of course, this is the three gates we have seen. AND is represented as dot or up arrow. OR is represented as plus or down arrow. NOT is represented, you can write complement like this or Z complement like this or tilde key above the left hand right above the left shift. The first row below the functional keys you find tilde key. Right? This is called as not. Right? Now I'm going to teach you that not an and is called as that, not at all is called as not. I'm going to teach, teach you right now ZOR and X not. What do you mean by ZOR? Zor is called as an exclusive OR gate. An exclusive OR gate. Opposite, complement of this gate. 
inverse of this gate is known as x naught. I am going to do right away. How does this Zorn gate resembles? This is, let's say, P, this is Q. These are the two gates, two inputs. Instead of single curvature, you will have double curvature. If you have a single curvature, it's called as OR gate, an inclusive OR. If I use double curvature, it's called as exclusive OR. How does this denote it? It is denoted like this P, ZOR, Q. P, ZOR, Q. Right. I'm going to do the truth table for this. As you all know, if there are two variables, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Let me do this truth table for ZOR gate. Okay. Let's say P, this is Q. Right. Double zero, double one, zero, one, zero. Right. What is this? P, ZOR, Q. How does the ZOR is denoted? ZOR is denoted as plus is rounded off. Plus is rounded off. That's called a ZOR gate. Please have a close look of this two table. How does this ZOR gate resembles? If there are odd number of ones, odd number of ones means if you have one ones, three ones, five ones, seven ones. If there are odd number of ones, the output is one. Here, look at here, here one one, here one one. Here one is an odd number, here one is an odd number. Here how many ones are there? Zero. Zero is an even number. How many ones are there? Two ones are there. Two is an even number. If there are even number of ones, the output is zero. If there are odd number of ones, output is one, which is known as ZOR gate. Complement of this, just find the opposite of this. What is the opposite of this? This we call X nor gate. X nor gate means complement of Zor gate. How does it resemble? It resembles like this. A dot is circled. A dot is circled. In this case, what happens is P X nor Q. What is that opposite of this? What is the opposite of this? If you have even number of ones, the output is one. If there are odd number of one, the output is zero. Opposite of this is one. Opposite of this is one. Zero. Opposite of one is zero. Opposite of zero is one. That's it. How does it denote it? This is P. This is Q. Double curvature means ZOR. Here you have to have a circle. This becomes P X nor Q. P X nor Q. Right. What did I do? Put together, I have revised seven gates. Three of them are primary, four of them are secondary. What are the primary gates? And or not. Okay. Based on these three gates, I am developing another four more gates. Not an and is called as NAND, not an OR is called as NOR, ZOR, exclusive OR, and opposite of exclusive OR, NOT and ZOR is called as XNOR. So, this is what the seven gates we have done, boys and girls. Now, what we will do is, I am going to teach you two concepts today NOR to NOR gate and NAND to NAND gate. Okay, before we could go there, what I am going to do is, let me write a Boolean expression, convert them into logic network, right? Then apply this NAND to NAND and NOR to NOR. NAND to NAND and NOR to NOR. So we, here I go. I repeat again, boys and girls. Some of you are really concerned. I did not attend the classes. I do not take the risk. So staying at home. There was a pause. Few classes I did take physically. Okay, to compensate you guys, here are the first class. Right? Those who join me. Whatever I do it on the blackboard, you must, you must 
copy down in a notebook that you have to submit to me before we wind up this section. Because it was decided at the meeting, you will be given a project work of 30 months. Right? <coughs> you will not be, you have to submit physically. You have to submit physically. Right? To submit that one in physically, you have to do it in your notebook, whatever has been done. Whatever has been done so far, all the members up to date, you must submit it, bring the note use certificate from the office and show it to me before first week of December or possibly the second week of December. I will hang out here, look for me, you have my contact number, okay, find out and submit to me personally, keeping on the table, I will not accept. Show the notebook, then and there I will correct and return the notebook so that you can practice the what do you call the bullet algebra and the two table and the conversions from one number system to another number system. You need not to wait. Instantaneously I will correct and give back the notebook to you. Am I clear to you boys and girls? This is meant for both the arts and the science students. Those who are attending the class and those who those who have not attended the class, okay, watch this four videos, four video classes. Here I go. Okay, now what do I do? Is NAND to NAND gate and NAND to NAND gate. Before that, let me tell you what is to be done. Here is a there is a, a Boolean expression. I want you to construct the logic network. Draw, this is a Boolean expression, draw logic, L-O-G-I-C, logic, diagram or logic network matter is C. Simple thing. What operation do you have? R. What do you have? Or. What do you have? Or. All of them, this and this is connected by and and. First, what I am going to do is, this is x, this is y. What gate is connected? Or gate. This will be x plus y. This will be this will be This is connected by an AND gate. AND gate, even if they do not put the dot, it's implied. It's implied. It's understood that in between there is an AND gate. So all the three of them are connected by an AND gate. This is what your final F. F means what? Function F is equal to this. Right? What will be this? X plus Y into Y plus Z into Z plus X. Right. Same thing, I want to do it with the NOR to NOR gate. I am using the same thing. Draw the logic diagram for this Boolean expression only with NOR to NOR gate. NOR to NOR gate. I will tell you what it is. NOR to NOR gate means you have to use NOR gate twice. You will get back this. You will get back this. Right? Now, <clears throat> well, first I will do NAND to NAND gate. What do I do is, here, if the NOR to NOR gate means this circle will make it as a NOR. X, Y, Y, Z then ZX This is not here nor gate here also is not gate If you have two not gates that will bring down this you have a log called as D Morgan's law 
I will teach you in the following classes. In due course of time, I will teach you. Okay, what the theme of this law is. There are quite a good number of postulates or theorems are there. Quite simple one. I'll tell you. Okay, if you are told to draw the logic diagram with the help of NAND to NAND gate or NOR to NOR gate, this. Here, what do you do? Is? Draw the logic diagram with the NOR to NOR gate only. Means two NORs you must use. After the OR gate, when you put the circle, it becomes NOT and OR is called as NOR. NOT and OR is called as two NOR gate becomes this will be the output. Right? Similarly, I will do one more with the NAND to NAND gate. I will do with the NAND to NAND gate. Here I go. Here I go. This is not NOR gate, NAND to NAND gate. I will do it. Here I wanted to draw this gate. For example, A complement B plus BC complement plus AC. I wanted to use NAND to NAND gate. NAND to NAND gate means NAND gate not got to be used twice. That's all, as simple as that. Here I do. This is A complement, this is B. Listen, boys and girls, you can give A complement directly as an input. Otherwise, you can do this. This is your A. It becomes A complement. As I told you, not get You need not to do this. Straight away, you can give complement as input. Because the mark allocated for this is very negligible, two or three marks only. If you start drawing the not gate, your diagram will be too big. You spend too much of time. It's not worth. That's the reason the council itself tells you. You are allowed to use more than two gates. As per the law, by means what by the gate means only two. You are supposed to use two. But they relax the rule. What do they say? You are allowed to use much more than two or more inputs in a gate, which is contrary to the law. The reason is. To draw the logic diagram, they will give you three marks or two marks. If you start applying the rules, you you land up in spending almost 20 minutes for three marks. is too much. That's the reason they give they relax you. You are allowed to use more than two inputs in a binary gate, and the complement state way you can use it like this. What gate do you have between A complement into B? Here, B, C complement. Here, A, C. What happens is, this is a node and and is called as NAND gate. What will the output is? A complement dot B whole complement here B dot C whole complement here A C whole complement whatever may be that what happens is I will teach you this D Marcos law next maybe in due course of time through the step this into this into this whole complement because this is there no so what is this called and gate a complement of B, B into C complement whole input, A into C whole complement. This will give back this. This is also NAND, this is also NAND. As we did here, NOR and NOR gate. Two NOR gates got to be used. If they say NOR to NOR gate means you have to use NOR gate twice. If they say NAND to NAND gate means you have to use NAND gate twice. 
this was the logic as of now. Because what you understand far better once if you are familiar with the once if you are familiar with the De Morgan's law. I'm sure you must have heard about De Morgan's law in the lower classes. A plus B whole complement is equal to A complement plus B complement. It's like this. What the De Morgan's law says? De Morgan's law says A plus B whole complement is equal to A complement into B complement. A into B complement is equal to A complement plus B complement. If there is a plus, here is a dot. If there is a dot, it is a plus. That is what the De Morgan's law means. Okay? Now I will tell you what it is. Afterwards, what did I do? I will recapitulate what has been done today. Afterwards, I am going to tell you one more definition called as principle of duality. Principle of duality. What it is? First of all, what did I do? Today, I introduced, rather, I revised three logical gates and is denoted by dot or up arrow key. And there, there is called a diagram for that. Okay, and gate. Followed by or gate. What is the OR gate is? AND gate and OR gate are called as binary gates. Okay. OR gate is denoted by plus or down arrow key. Right? NAND gate. Sorry. NOT. NOT gate is an unary gate or unitary gate. Unitary means only one input will be there. If the input is A, the output is A complement. If the input is A complement, the output is A. Just the opposite. Inverse. Complement. Okay. Opposite of this are the primary gates. What are the secondary gates? Not an and is called as NAND, not an or is called as NOR, ZOR, and X NOR. Four gates we have done. Afterwards, what did we do? We did the NAND to NAND gate. Means NAND gate got to be used twice. It's called as NAND to NAND gate. Then afterwards, NOR to NOR gate. NOR gate got to be used twice. Right? So this is what the construction of a logic network or circuit diagram. Logic circuit or logic network. Right? What I am going to teach you is called as principle of duality. First I will tell you verbally that I will work it out on the blackboard. What is principle of duality? Duality. Duality is what? Two. There are four rules of it. As simple as this. Replace all the dots with plus. What do you mean by dots? Replace all the ands with ors. Replace all the ors with and. Replace all the ones with zero. Replace all the zeros with one. Keep the uncomplement or let the complement remain same. Keep the complement unchanged. There are four rules are there. What I am going to teach you the principle of duality. What does the principle of duality say? Replace all the zeros with ones. All the ones with zero. Right? Replace all the dots with plus. Plus with dots. Keep the complement unchanged. If there is a complement, let it be as they are. We should not fiddle around. Let the Complement remain complement only. Okay. Here I go. What do I see? Replace all the dots with plus, means all the ands with ors, and vice versa. Replace all the ors with ands, replace all the ones with zeros, replace zeros with ones. Keep the complements unchanged. Here are a couple of examples I gave. A into B into C plus B into C complement into A plus B complement to C plus C into A complement plus A into B complement to C. This is what the given question is. They are asking you to find the dual expression of it. What is the dual expression of it? A into B into C. A and B and C becomes A or the dot becomes plus, dot becomes plus. The plus becomes dot. In between this, what you have done? B and 
C complement and A becomes B or C complement or A. This plus becomes dot, this dot becomes plus, this plus becomes dot, this dot becomes plus, this plus becomes dot, this dot becomes plus. Right? If they don't write A into B complement into C complement, they don't put the dot. If they don't give, it's implied, it's understood in between variables there exists an and operation. This is called as a dual expression of this. Dual is what? Second kind. Applying these five rules. Yet again, one more example. P plus Q into R plus C complement into P plus Q plus R complement. Find the dual of this. Find the dual of this Boolean expression. What happens is the P remains same, the plus becomes dot, the dot becomes plus, this R remains R plus becomes dot, the complement remains complement. Should not be changed, it should be unchanged. The plus becomes dot becomes plus, plus becomes dot, plus becomes dot. This is a dual expression of this. Okay, boys and girls. Just I will recapitulate what has been done whole of today. And what do you, what are we going to do in the next video session? Both I will tell you. Right? I started today revising the primary gates and or not. Okay? With the help of these three gates, another four more gates can be constructed. NAND, NOR, ZOR and XNOR. NAND means what? Not an OR. NOR means not an OR. What is the ZOR is? Exclusive OR. Opposite. NOT and ZOR is called as XNOR. These are the seven gates we have seen. Right? Afterwards, I also told you NAND to NAND gate and NOR to NOR gate. NAND to NAND gate means what? You have to use NAND gate twice, you have to use NOR gate twice. Right? Afterwards, we have learned the principle of duality. What is the principle of duality says? Any given expression replace all the ands with OR and vice versa. Replace all the zeros with one and vice versa. Right? Keep the complement unchanged. Right? Now, what am I going to do in the following class? You have in your textbook, it's called as Applications of Boolean Algebra. Applications of Boolean Algebra. What the first one is called is adders. Adders, there are two types of there. Half adder and the adders, A D D E R S, half adder and the full adder, encoders and decoders. Applications of how are we going to use this Boolean logical circuits in our day to day life? How are we going to apply them? Applications that we will see in the next class. Luckily, in your textbook, though they have given these three, they have explained only these two. These two you will be learning in class 12. And class 12. Okay, boys and girls, what is the off adder and what is the full adder? Next class, I am going to teach you. Right? One thing I wanted to make sure, I told you in the beginning of my video session, I told you in the mid, I am winding up my today's class with this. You have to submit your project work. So, what is the project work question? Is simple. Whatever has been done right from day one, all the video sessions, everything you have to do it in a full scale, thickest notebook because same class 11 notebook will be carried forward in the class 12 also. By a full scale, thick notebook, write down all of them. Hand over to me personally. I will not accept the soft copy sending you in my mobile. No. You are entitled to get 30 marks for that. Right? 30 marks for this, 70 marks for your body generation. If I send the question paper of 50 marks, 15 marks for your project work, 35 marks for your written examination, your annual examination. Okay? What is the school authority says? You have to submit the project work physically 
along with no due certificate. What do you mean by no due certificate? Go to account section. They will give you a no dues. If you have cleared the fees, they will give you no dues. You have to submit to me personally, not sending to somebody else, not keeping on my table. No. You have to give it to me personally on production of no dues certificate, then you will be rewarded for your project work. Okay, I will not enter time. This is the rule of law framed by my boss. What is that? You cannot send your project work soft copy, means write down, click the photograph and send, I will not award the work. I am sorry, if there is any clarity, you can meet the principal or vice principal and get it done. Okay, boys and girls, till we meet you in the next video session, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.